Is this one on? Yeah, we'll just use this one. Okay, for our uh, announcements, uh, the Easter Cantata of the King is coming. Uh, the choir is going to rehearse 5 uh, p.m. today. Uh, please remember to bring your books uh, to the practice. Uh, we're going to have a special practice this Thursday, uh, March the 29th, 6.30 to 8. So everybody remember that. This Thursday, we'll have a special practice for the Easter. Uh, this will be the final rehearsal. Uh, so choir members are asked to make an extra effort to be sure to be here this coming Thursday. And the King is Coming will be presented during the morning worship uh, next Sunday morning. And we invite your family and your friends to come out and be with us for uh, that service. Uh, Brother Tracy Call will be preaching for us in this evening service. So if you haven't heard Brother Tracy, uh, come out and be with him. Uh, he's, you'll be blessed, I'm sure. It's a, he's, he's, a, he's a fine, fine preacher. Uh, a reminder to the board, uh, you will be providing the food for the ladies' auxiliary at their meeting on Monday, April the 2nd. So all board members keep that in mind. Uh, spring Spaghetti Dinner White Elephant Sale will be Saturday, April the 7th, 6 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall. Uh, please bring two wrap gifts for the White Elephant Sale. And Brother Reggie Hill will be preaching for us on Sunday, April the 15th during that evening service. And if you're following the Read the Bible uh, in a Year program, the copies for the second quarter are out there on the desk uh, this morning. They were down on the shelf there, so uh, uh, check that out before you leave today. And we have some more announcements here. The Youth Easter Egg Hunt will be this coming Wednesday evening at the church, weather permitting. Uh, Easter eggs to be filled, they're in the vestibule in packages of two dozen each. Uh, you feel free to take uh, some and return these either this evening or Wednesday evening. Uh, the eggs may be filled with candy and or money. Uh, and they thank you, Sister Wanda and Sister Lavana, in helping them with the effort for that. Uh, those were out there in a bag next to the desk out there in the vestibule. So you can check those out before you leave this morning. And the 30 pieces of silver envelopes, they're out there on the desk this morning. Uh, all these goes to the World for Christ Missions. Uh, they can be returned by Sunday, the April the 8th. And Sister Wanda and Sister Lavana, thank you for your participating in that. Vacation Bible School. This is tentatively scheduled for the week of June the 4th, and the program will be Sunday, June the 10th, during the morning worship. If you'd like to help in any way, in anything that you feel like you can do, contact Sister Ravana or Sister Wanda. They'll get you signed up, get you ready to go. <clears throat> the plans are to give each child attending Vacation Bible School a new ball to take home. Donations of new basketballs, footballs, soccer balls, volleyballs, kickballs, or cash. Uh, would be greatly appreciated and those who wish to order a t-shirt orders and money are due today This is for the vacation Bible school and brother Roger wanted me to announce this this morning uh, the uh, Smoky Mountain camp meeting the week of April the 9th through the 12th brother Paul Hagen contacted him this morning and said that uh, he can still get rooms at the Park Tower Inn. If anybody's interested in going down and looking for a room to stay, uh, Brother Paul, I got his phone number here if you're interested, and he can get you down there for uh, $60.57 a night, and this is tax included, he said. So if you need any information on that, the phone number, whatever, just see me, and I'll get that to you. That was from Brother Paul Hagen. And also, Brother Roger wanted me to announce that next Sunday morning, 6 a.m., we'll have our sunrise service. So anybody interested in being with us on that, next Sunday morning at 6 a.m., we will be having our sunrise service. And if you didn't get a bulletin this morning, you might want to pick one up. It's got something in here that's worth reading. Um, it's Friday. And... Uh, well, I wasn't going to read it, but I'm going to read it. <clears throat> it's Friday. Jesus is praying. Peter's is sleeping. Judas is betraying, but Sunday's coming. It's Friday. Pilate's struggling. The council is conspiring. The crowd is vilifying. They don't even know that Sunday's coming. It's Friday. The disciples are running like sheep without a shepherd. Mary's crying. Peter is denying 
but they don't know that Sunday's a coming. It's Friday. The Romans beat my Jesus. They robe him in scarlet. They crown him with thorns, but they don't know that Sunday's coming. It's Friday. See Jesus walking to Calvary, his blood dripping, his body stumbling, and his spirit's burden. But you see, it's only Friday. Sunday's coming. It's Friday. The world's winning. People are sinning. And evil's grinning. It's Friday. The soldiers nail my Savior's hands to the cross. They nail my Savior's feet to the cross. And they raise him up next to criminals. It's Friday. But let me tell you something. Sunday's coming. It's Friday. The disciples are questioning what has happened to their king. And the Pharisees are celebrating that their scheming has been achieved. But they don't know. It's only Friday. Sunday's coming. It's Friday. He's hanging on the cross, feeling forsaken by his father, left alone and dying. Can nobody save him? Oh, it's Friday. But Sunday's coming. It's Friday. The earth trembles. The sky grows dark. My king yields his spirit. It's Friday. Hope is lost. Death has won. Sin is conquered. And Satan's just a laughing. It's Friday. Jesus is buried. A soldier stands guard. And a rock is rolled into place. But it's Friday. It's only Friday. Sunday is a coming. Amen. 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 I, I like that. I appreciate that being put in this morning. I think I've got everything covered. Let's all go to our classes. Day, don't you? Amen, amen. Get your hymnals and turn to page 277.
that this morning. Amen. And this week coming up, that uh, you know, we, we think of it as the Holy Week, with palms beginning with Palm Sunday. So I'm glad Jesus died for me, because if I'd been the only one, He would have still went and died right. for me. That's right. So I'm thankful for that today. Page 120. Everybody knows this one. <laughs> And it's because of that today that we can have victory in Jesus, right? Oh, 
people say praise the Lord to that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay, for our Sunday school hour, we had a total attendance of 93. Uh, we had an offering today of $1,359, and we're thankful for that. Um, we're going to rehearse for the Easter cantata this evening at 5. Uh, all choir members, uh, please remember to bring your songbooks with you to practice. Uh, this Thursday, uh, the 29th, from 6.30 to 8, we're going to have a special practice here at the church, and this will be our final practice uh, before the program. Next Sunday morning, the King is Coming will be presented in the morning worship service, and we invite everybody out for that. Also, next Sunday morning at 6 a.m., we'll have sunrise service, so we invite everybody out for that at uh, 6 a.m. Uh, this evening service, Brother Tracy Call will be preaching for us. If you haven't heard Brother Tracy, you're in for a real treat. Uh, reminder to the board, we will be providing the food for the ladies' auxiliary at their meeting on Monday, April the 2nd, so keep that in mind. Uh, spring spaghetti dinner, white elephant sale, will be Saturday, April the 7th, 6 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall. Uh, please bring two wrapped gifts for the white elephant sale. Uh, Sunday, April the 15th, in the evening service, Brother Reggie Hill will be here to preach for us in that service. And if you're following the Read the Bible Through program uh, from here at the church, the copies of the second quarter are out there on the table. Uh, feel free to pick you one up, and if we run out, let me know. I'll, we'll run some more copies off. Uh, also, for more announcements, the Youth Easter Egg Hunt will be this coming Wednesday evening uh, at the church, weather permitting. Uh, Easter eggs to be filled. They're in the vestibule in packages of two dozen each. They're out there in a bag here in the vestibule. They'd ask uh, Sister Wanda, Sister Lavana would ask that you'd take these home with you, fill them up with candy, money, whatever, and bring them back either this evening or Wednesday evening so they can use them to, uh, over in the uh, lot over there next to the fellowship hall. Uh, let the kids find them Wednesday evening. The 30 pieces of silver envelopes, these are uh, uh, handed out every year at this time for the World for Christ Missions. This is through Sister Wanda, Sister Lavana, and they're out front on the vestibule if you want to pick one of those up. And uh, these uh, may be returned by Sunday, April the 8th. Uh, and uh, they would appreciate that. Vacation Bible School, this is tentatively scheduled for the week of June the 4th. The program will be Sunday, June the 10th during the morning worship service. If you would like to help in any way, contact Sister Lavana, uh, Sister Wanda. They'll get you signed up. They'll get you ready to go. And the plans are to give each child attending Vacation Bible School a new ball to take home. Uh, so donations of basketballs, football, soccer balls, volleyballs, kickballs, cash would be greatly appreciated. And those who wish to order a t-shirt, the orders and money are due in today. So if you have that. And uh, Brother Roger talked to Brother Paul Hagen this morning. And Brother Paul would like this to be announced. Uh, April the 9th through the 12th, this is the Smoky Mountain Camp Meeting down in Pigeon Forge. Uh, Brother Paul said that there are rooms available at the Park Tower Inn. And uh, for $60.57 a night, this is tax included. And I have Brother Paul's phone number. If anybody is interested in contacting him and working out things there, just see me and I'll get you the phone number. And uh, we'll get you squared away on that. And there was a piece of jewelry found out in the parking lot this morning. If anybody lost a piece of jewelry, just come and yell at me and we'll see that that's given back to you, okay? Uh, birthday, Sister Betty. <laughs>
There you go. There you go. Bless your heart, Mary. Bless your heart, honey. And it was like, when I sang that, and then I sang, and then you more. All right. We uh, have a tradition, I guess you could call it here at the church, that. Uh, uh, Usually after six Sundays, a Bible was given out to that one that uh, makes their way here. And uh, this Bible, this is a Bible. This is part of a Bible. We have a, a gentleman that has been coming to church here for a long time. And uh, he's unable to read the Bible like we read it. And Brother Mike and Sister Callie began searching. And they found a company, a business, or whatever, that would take care of an individual that was unable to read the Bible. And they would fix a Bible in Braille. So this is part of a series of a Bible that uh, we're going to give out this morning. And I know you all have heard me to t tell this story before, but I get a blessing every time. I've been thinking about it long. I've been so excited to do this today. We had a meeting here, oh, it's been probably a year or two ago. And... Uh, a little fella sitting next to me over here uh, on the pew that night, he wanted to go up and pray and, and get his eyes healed, have his eyes healed. And he wanted blue eyes. <laughs> now, when you go to pray for something, do you go with a heartfelt attitude that when I get done praying, it's going to happen? I got a real lesson that night. That fella come over and sit next to me and looked right at me and he said, are they blue yet? <laughs> and I can't really say that little fella now because he's getting pretty, he's growing up. But we've got a Bible that we're going to present to Brother Ray here this morning. Ray Harvey. <laughs> Well-earned Bible. that they sent Callie and Mike literature in Braille to share with those that can't read how to be saved. Amen. And I tell you that's just awesome. That's just that's just that uh, Bible they're keeping it there for Ray but once th this is a, uh, a a version of the of the holy this is the children's type Bible, okay? Once Ray gets up to where he can he knows and understands that we're going to get him a, a big, it's going to be more, more of those together. And uh, this will be donated back to that company where they can use it for somebody else down the line. So uh, uh, I appreciate Mike and Callie making the effort to take care of this. And uh, yeah, I applaud them today. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Bless your heart, Ray. The front of it's in Braille, and he's already reading his Bible. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I believe uh, we old adults can take a lesson there, don't you? Yeah. Just to have that faith. 
Um, I told the choir I wanted to sing one of the excerpts from the cantata this morning because it, it is called the triumphant entry. And that's what today is, Palm Sunday. It's that triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. So we're going to sing that, give you all a little idea. There'll be, um, it's not that long, um, but it does um, kind of set up this week and what we'll be celebrating next week. And I'm telling you, I'm going to give them their accolades today because next week we'll be really busy and noisy and stuff. But this choir, I could not be any more proud and pleased with this choir and their efforts. They have listened, they have studied, they have worked, they have practiced. Considering, I don't know if maybe three or four people can even read music. And they have done remarkably well. And they deserve a hand clap this morning. What a message we have to share today. The King is coming. We celebrate it with great anticipation. For believers, there's no greater excitement than to imagine the moment we will see Him face to face. Picture then the excitement that filled Jerusalem that Sunday when Jesus rode into the city. The people had waited for their King for generations. And now it looked as though God had sent their Messiah at last.
have to admit that's pretty good. You wait till you hear the whole thing next week. <laughs> they are showing off. You all go on that. Can you play Earlier this week, uh, I had a song that uh, I haven't sung for a long time, and uh, it it came to me to sing, and I thought, well, I'll go, I'll go over it, and and I, I I never I never went over it, and my my mind was kind of changed, and uh, with what I was wanting to do this morning, and uh, uh, she wasn't here to to do what I was wanting to kind of plan on doing. And I didn't find out till I got to church, so this song came back to me again. And I thought, well, we'll we're going to do our best. I, I've, I've only done it maybe a couple times, but it goes right along with what we're, uh, what this service is about on Palm Sunday. And uh, the, the words, they're, they're meaningful, they're, they're true, and it, it kind of brings it up to today's, uh, where we're at today. And uh, so just uh, listen to the words of it while we try to do it. That's number two, brother. <clears throat> the devil laughed and said, I've won. God has lost his only son. The brightest star no longer shines Finally this world is mine Then he gathered all his demons near He said we have conquered love with fear Meanwhile back at the cross all is not lost Forgiveness is bought With each drop of His blood It falls to the ground Mercy abounds His mother Mary's tears fall down To see her precious son pay the cost devil said we'll use their pride we'll attack them from inside we'll fill their hearts with vanity till their differences are all they'll see black and white rich and poor Justify their holy war. Meanwhile, back at the cross, all is not lost. Forgiveness is bought with each drop of His blood. It falls to the ground. Mercy abound. His mother Mary fall down to see her precious son pay 
the call. Take a look around, turn on the evening news. The devil said, there's no way I'm going to lose. Hate is everywhere. Love cannot be found. It took me 2,000 years. But it's almost over now. Meanwhile, back at the cross, all is not lost. Forgiveness is bought with each drop of His blood. It falls to the ground. Mercy abounds. Mother Mary's tears fall down. See her precious son pay oh, at the cross. Amen. Say with me, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord! Uh, I say that because last week this atmosphere was tight, and we don't want it to be that way. Right. Has Amen. everybody been the Lord? Amen. As always, we're grateful when we have visitors, and this is the second week that we've had visitors come and and make sure you get a chance to speak with me after service so I can thank you for being here with us. If you have your Bibles this morning, turn with us to uh, Mark chapter 11. Mark chapter 11. We're going to begin reading at the first verse there. And then you, you pray for us. Uh, I, I don't often uh, get to preach uh, uh, like today is Palm Sunday. And I, I think that uh, 